Now, earlier this month, SpiceJet hived off its cargo business into a separate entity. They called it Spice Express, narrowing its focus on air cargo business. Now, a deeper look at this market shows that India's international air cargo is almost entirely dominated by foreign operators and Indian players hold just a meagre 5 to 6% share over here. So, what are the reasons behind this huge gap and how can we improve? We have Madiha at the big wall to take us through this edition of Clutter Breakers. Let me start with a wider view of the size and scale of India's air cargo market. The country's total inward and outward shipments stood at 3.14 million tons in FY22 and the volumes are expected to remain the same for FY23 as demand is yet to bounce back to pre-COVID levels. Of the 3.14 million tons, 1.29 million tons were domestic cargo and 1.84 million tons were international cargo. And of the 1.84 million tons of international cargo, a lion's share is taken by foreign air operators who control around 94 to 95 percent of the market and the remaining 5 to 6 percent that domestic players handle is also largely done through the belly space of wide body passenger aircraft, mostly by carriers like Air India and Vistara. So what is leading to this huge gap? The key reason is Indian air cargo airlines can't carry cargo for long and ultra long haul destinations due to the lack of dedicated wide body freighter aircraft and this is where foreign players come into the picture and dominate the Indian air cargo space. Apart from carrying cargo in the aircraft belly, there are dedicated foreign freight carriers and look at their fleet. FedEx has over 400 aircraft, United Parcel Service has 290 planes, DHL has 215, Qatar has 27, Emirates has 11 freighter aircraft and most of these are wide body planes. Now Indian carriers meanwhile have only 14 dedicated uh, freighter aircraft and all of them are narrow body planes which means they can't fly to destinations like the US and Europe. Now, while this is a major limitation, the domestic industry claims they don't have a level playing field to compete with the foreign giants. So what exactly are their complaints? Number one, they say Indian air cargo operator has to pay a hefty customs duty for leased aircraft registered in India. Second, Indian cargo airlines are not allowed to operate aircraft that are over 20 years old but at the same time foreign airlines are allowed to fly into India with aircraft that are over 20 years old. Apart from these issues, domestic players want the government to create a dedicated airport to handle all kinds of cargo and introduce a unified customs policy across airports for faster clearance of shipments. They also want the government to bring a trans-shipment policy to ease the transport process and make India an international hub for air cargo transport. Now, the government has set an ambitious target of taking India's air cargo to 10 million tons by 2030. Industry representatives tell me the government will have to make policies that will bring more players into the market and help existing operators expand their capacity to achieve this target. Madiha, very interesting there. Thank you very much for highlighting that. Out of time on Trading Off from the entire team. Thank you for watching.